Good morning, everyone. It is Throat Punch Thursday, August 26th here in Trading Rebels, and we are looking at uh, mostly, a a a mostly a flat opening. The Dow is up a li uh, up about 30 points. S&P is uh, down a point and a half. NASDAQ is down 19 points, and the Russell is flat. So overall, fairly flat opening. We do have some uh, good retail earnings coming through Um hitting the the wires here this morning and we had some good earnings last night watch for snow and uh salesforce crm to take a nice leg up here right at the open this is a look at our futures here and as you can see we have a nice little tail here and you know really just not doing much in the candle we have the um jackson hole symposium starting today so we'll see if we get any news um out from any of the Fed heads. Now, Jerome Powell will not be speaking until tomorrow, but today we might start to see a little bit of um, chatter from different Fed speakers. Now, no one is actually scheduled to speak uh, officially on behalf of the Fed, but there are some interviews that are going to take place, so we will uh, watch for any news out of those. Remember, out of that, we're watching for uh, taper. You know, what are we doing for taper? Um, uh, the Fed tapering and interest rates and their view on inflation, how they plan to control that. So we got a lot of stuff going on uh, in the Fed. Also, Afghanistan, as the 31st draws near, we are obviously um, really, you know, it, it's such a, a tenuous situation. Markets do not like uncertainty, and this is a really big uncertainty. Um, and then, of course, we have... COVID, the rising cases in Delta variant. So there's just a lot going on and the markets don't really like it. But I will say this, the, the sellers aren't stepping up. So buyers necessarily aren't stepping in. They're, we're just staying afloat. We are treading water as uh, I think is the term that's been used most. So we will, um, we will use that as well. We're just treading water. And that's indicated here by these really tiny little candles, right? And lower volume really. So and again, I know lower volume as you're going up, it's definitely a warning flag, but it's not red volume, right? So we have that too. We're, again, we're, we're, we're not seeing this win by the bears to come in and drive the market back down. We're just sort of floating along. Okay, so beyond that, what are we watching this morning? Real quick, I like deer and I like cat. Both of these are looking good, but I chose and set up cat. Because look at these beautiful moving averages really close. We are four days up, so we're looking for a continuation. We do have not just a Fibonacci line here, but we do have a point of control right here in the center. So we do have some resistance coming up, but this has been climbing nicely. We do have infrastructure that is still out there that they are you know, still pushing through. We have a um, the framework for the new budget came through. So we're definitely seeing some um, some move here in heavy equipment machinery. Deer looks beautiful. Again, a 3820 cross pushing up just so nicely. So both of these look, um, I think they both look absolutely great. In deer, I would look at the 380s, the October 15th 380s. And in cat, I would look at the October 15th 220. So both of those, would I take them both? No, but would I take just one of them yep get that exposure out there well now we have CSX this is a, a favorite of marks in the room pretty uh, candle yesterday a little bit of an inside right taking a pause so we had this earnings gap up came back filled filled the gap and put in a nice little base jumped up putting in a nice little base and now we're looking for the um, continuation off of the eight here today and in CSX, I would watch the, uh-oh, hold on, let me make sure I got that right. Yeah, th the 35s, the 11, 19, 35s, pushing it out to the November time frame. Well, Disney, the House of Mouse has been, look at this really tight range that we have been in. I would say you could pretty easily draw it from here through this fib line. Yep, I have Lexi home today, so you're going to hear her in the background, and Skylar's home today, so, ugh, oh, it's a full house. Um, oh, this sounds like a TV show. See? Jokes. I've got jokes this morning. All right, it's pushing back up off of the 200 here. Really nice tight range. 
I'm looking for a move over that 180 and I am looking at the 10, 15, 180s and willing to push those out to um, November or December. But looking for this to finally make a move, it's about, it's pushed up uh, away from the 200. These moving averages are so close here. So taking a look at DIS for a little bit longer of a, a look. Lowe's, this was an earnings winner. We talked about it yesterday. Pushed right back up, settled in right at the um, right near the top of Tuesday's candle and looking for continuation here in low. I like the 1015 200s. WDC has a, uh, some news with the um, uh, poss a possible merger with a Japanese chip maker. And so that caused this to really spike yesterday, but it came back in pretty nicely here to a trend line. I like this up over the 50. 10, 15, 70s are the ones that I am looking at in WDC. And some that are looking to um, maybe get up over the 20 here, Nike. Nike has done really well since their earnings. Taking a little bit of a break, we have this little stranded island down here, but came right back up to the 20, looking for a nice move up over the 20. I like the 10, 15, 170s. And Finally, another one that hasn't quite set up. Now, this one is below the 200, so we want to actually break this downtrend is what I'm looking for. But a move to this uh, 200, definitely an interesting play here. Um, as we get, I know we're just in August, but we're going to start looking at doing our shopping for Christmas, which is more packages being shipped, more online shopping, um, and especially as the COVID fears uh, tend to keep sneaking up on us. You know, we're going to be ordering those gifts and having them sent directly. So I like the look of FedEx. You could also take a peek over here at UPS. All right, looks kind of the same, but above the 200. Um, the FDX has a little bit nicer options and looking at the 10, 15, 270s and 280s. As long as we move up above the, the 8 here and looking for a play all the way up to that 200. All right. Oh, and then the two big earnings winners from last night, Snow. So Snow is one that we've been watching on and off and just really couldn't, never seemed to catch it at quite the right time. Well, today, if you take a look here, look at Snow this morning. Nice gap up off of earnings. And then uh, the other winner from right after the close CRM, CRM sitting at 268 after closing somewhere down here around 260, 164. So a nice earnings winner here and looks like it's continuing to creep up here in the pre-market. All right, that is it for me this morning. If you have any questions, please be sure to reach out. Heather C. at Giving Tree Trading. Um, keep in mind, I do have two kids home, so I will be paying attention, but maybe not on the mic as much today but I will certainly be around and um, to answer any questions. I hope you have an awesome day.